With the price of new golf clubs skyrocketing, what if you spent a little bit less on your clubs and a little bit more on your golf? That is exactly what we are doing in this series. Today we are at the number one golf course in Great Britain and Ireland, the old course. Yes guys, that is right. This series now brings us to the number one golf course in Great Britain and Ireland, the old course at St Andrews. Chris, what's the score currently? Currently one up after North Berwick. So we're playing aggregate over each course we get to play. We had nine holes at North Berwick yesterday. This is one up. Played really well, actually. Never played there, never played here, so uh, only means one thing. This brand new series is going to be something you certainly don't want to miss. Here are the rules. So a brand new set of pink blueprint irons will set you back around £1,349. Now, if I want a different set of irons, if I want something a little bit more budget, a little bit cheaper, I can get a set of Tacomo 301 irons for $649. $649 is around £548. So in theory, all I have to do is subtract £548 from £1,349. That leaves me with £801. If I take away yesterday's green fee from North Berwick at 110, that leaves up with £691 to play some of the world's best courses. And we're going to try and play as many courses as we can that are rated in the top 100 for GB and I with the money we have saved from buying these clubs. Guys, make sure you do subscribe. There's lots more giveaways coming in this series. It's going to be a fantastic, fun-filled series. I can't wait to bring you some of the best golf courses in the world. So guys, with buying the Tacoma Irons, you saw we saved £801, £110 of that went on North Berwick, leaving £691, £150 green fee for winter at the old course, now leaves us with £541. Moving forward, where else should we play? Let us know in the comments. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see it. We are giving away a full set of Tacoma Irons in this series as well, in one of the videos. So subscribe, comment below, natural ball striker. Correct. And you'll be in a chance of winning. Don't reply to any spam comments such as this one. Let's get teed off. So, Chris, this is a section that you wanted to get in today. Is, what's, well, the new glove, no yep. hole in the thumb, but what snacks would you bring to the old course? What have you brought? So, Chris I've has got, got some, some oh, lots of crisps. Tiger bread, pickled onion. And Tiger bread? There is some squashies somewhere, but I don't know where the squashies have gone. Yeah, I thought that was waterproof, but clearly not. No, never is. The current bun's coming out, so. Oh, well, yeah. Lead us off, Mr. Robinson. One down. First tee shot. Follow Cooper. Play well, boys. Be the ball. Oh, nice chippy one, that. Yeah, it's not full, is it? I mean, it's pitch past Brett, so we're all right. Oh, Chris. That's an absolute ripper, that. Is that paradigm of a Mr. Fairway that counts? I don't think so, no. <laughs> it's, look at the strike pattern. Oh, it's a little nudger down there. Right. The game is on. So this is what this series is all about. I know we said this yesterday at North Berwick, but giving us the budget to come and play some of the best golf courses in Great Britain Island. We're walking down the first fairway at the old course, and the sun just pops out the of the clouds. But we can't, you know, with the money you say, we can't guarantee this weather. We can't guarantee, we said that yesterday as well. We did, we've had two great days and first shot, and th well, you can't really miss this fairway. You, well, say you three can, in the I mean, fairway, these but... are all pretty good drives. The concern for Chris at one up in the series is, is he too close? Just is another 30 close? yards for me. Right, 75 yards in. Off mats. Gonna play an 80 yard shot, hopefully. Spin. We'll take it. Right, Chris, I'm in there. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I went a little bit longer than what I wanted. I did think it was gonna spin back. Yeah, but I'll take that all day. Ooh, I've gone a bit long. Safe. That's always the shot you're going to do though with that burn there. That's actually quite a tough flag position for this opening hole here at the home of golf. It is when you're this far down. Right, Chris, you can show me the line. Plenty of work left. Huge error today. I had to buy a glove as well. Quite happy with it, but 
never like having to buy a last minute glove. Same there, same there. Part of me thought you were going to hold that on the first here. It was moving a bit to claw it back. A great backdrop, St Andrew's Hotel. The old course hotel, I create myself. Hmm, good pace. Oh. Birdie in the first at the old course to claw it back to level would be like Scott scoring a screamer in the FA Cup final at Wembley. Or oh, the League Cup for the uh, mighty Man United. <laughs> I really want to give you this, Chris, but just that distance. I thought it was a social friendly uh, series, this. You were never missing that well done pal. Two fours. Steady away. Always nice to par. The open hole here at the home of golf. First attempt, first par. Shot. And the guider. Oh that's I feel like all you need to do here. We'll see, it does open up. Right place for the right hand rough because it's mats in the fairway, obviously. Go. Go and be good. 181, that could be incredible as well. Chris, you're over near the path but in play. Both opted for the rough so we're not using the mats in winter. Yeah. But I must say for the price, 150, well, 149, winter mats, are you that bothered? No, not for the uh, the history of playing the history. Here. You've never played it before, have you? No, many a many a time not played. I also well, we saw Tiger in the summer. Yeah, we did. Not the weekend, but we saw him. That is naturally struck. Can't beat irons on a Lynx golf course. Not when you strike. Blade like irons, that. is it? It is blades. The three oh one MBs. Again, great price. Very nice. Well, Chris, I can see two balls, and I'm praying that mine is one down that slope. I'm thinking mine is the one short, This could be where I get back at you and get back to level. It's a tricky putt from here. Very, very. Well, two tricky putts, actually, on the second hole. Shares the green double with green. the 16. All the double greens add up to an 18 total. Not the easiest of putts, Chris. No, not after watching Brett's race bike. A big swing at. Pace has to be right. And it looks incredible. Oh! What a travesty. That might be the best putt I've ever seen. Not a bad putt to start. Oh! It's a solid effort. Never in doubt. I have no idea where this all goes, so... Didn't you caddy here? I did, but there was grandstands up, so it's a little bit easier when there's no grandstands. No grandstands for a Dunhill. There is. Uh, right. Where do we go, James? I can see anyway, the guys. You've got a course guide in your pocket. Let's have a look at the course guide, then. What does it say? Just avoid that. Just avoid everything down there. I mean, I'll say it again, Chris, NBS. Natural ball striker, straight down the fairway. What an iron. Lovely divot as well. Nothing finer. Blades off the hollowed turf. Hollowed or hallowed? Hallowed. Hollow turf. Definitely not hollow. Let's not fall down this hollow. Not a hollow bodied iron either. Sleepy hollow. Good film, Sleepy Hollow. There we go. Two in play. Tucking in already. First snack. What have we gone with? Third all in. Ease myself in with some ready salted. Ready salted. I don't think you'll ever get a better day. No. Chris. I agree with that. Delightful. Right. Let me break on. Let me push me pull me. Highlight of the series. And we've got 150 on the nose. Played for it, nice yardage. Not much wind, eight iron, one an upslope. Got to think about the slopes. Just a nice one. 
Be the club. Be the club. If that's the right number, that could be in. Could be in. Ooh. It's a big shout. I forgot to put a mat down, I don't know. Oh, weren't I? No, you ain't rough. See, I played to be a bit further back so I could go out the rough. We've got about 120. 120. Do we know if mine's good? Can we see anything? I can't see anything. The camera might know more than us. We can get the aerial see. view. Still don't know. Ooh. Nipped it, just a bit right. It's a little bit right. Yeah, it's gonna be flag high, isn't it? Distance should be good, I hope. Good shot. Famous last words. Right, two shots, one. Mine's a little bit shorter than it looks there, I think. And Chris is just short right. Never really committed to that pitching wedge. Cool, right. Well, I do apologise. Well, I just think if you're a natural ball striker. Yes, I agree. Poor. Right, another birdie put for you, Chris. A bit of a lengthier one. Yes, it is. Not the best I shot there at all. going to be good. Maybe just a little bit short. Shall we check on these moist greens? Well, moist. Receptive. Moist. Throwing it in there. Is there anything but moist? It's going to go. It's a good line. It's an excellent line. Oh. It's another... Uh, Pace putting's been phenomenal, Chris. How's it with the game of tennis we played on the putting green? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, go on. Go on, Spike, you go on if you're ready. You go if you're ready, Paul. Plenty of pitch marks there. Remember, guys, this is an ag aggregate match, so it's as many holes as we can get in on these special courses. Chris has won up primarily from his performance at North Berwick. A ball striking masterclass, one would say. Needed hitting. Turned a lot. I will give you that for half, my friend. Thank you. Right. All the fours so far. Moving on. One. So you got nine? No, a little eight. Is that because you're not brought a nine? It might be part of the reason, yes, but flight one in, little left to right. Come on. Well, it's safe for distance. Ooh. Come on, play the contours. I've well, got nine and you've got me double guessing. There's a bit of breeze up there now, James. Yeah, but it's helping off left, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if it's helping, is it? Are you sure? Needs to go. That's oh, good. That looks like a bunker to me. So, guys, you join us now on the eighth hole, par three. I'll have showed you a couple of my shots. I'm trying to film every shot today so I can put a little bit of a full course video together. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, really enjoying it. We're still, I'm still one down. I mean, if we were playing full match, I'd be winning, I think. I doubt it. But on camera, I am one down. Guys, let us know where would you play if you saved £800? Would you space it out throughout 12 months? Would you maybe go and buy something cheaper, driver-wise, three-wood-wise, putter-wise, to save even more money to play more courses? Chris, I'm loving this series. Or a trip abroad. Maybe. We've done that. We did Malta, didn't we? We did do Malta. It was well inside the budget. On the number. On the number. It was exactly well, yeah. on the number, yeah. Playing some good courses we wouldn't normally play, which is uh, enjoyable. Yes. Right, birdie foot. We haven't had one yet in this video. No. Seen that go left to right, and it does. Oh, Chris. Oh, we've had a birdie now. Oh, you know what? He's played absolutely rubbish off camera, hasn't he? Oh, oh Chris. It's a birdie ball. Follow that in, my friend. Follow. What a. We'll have to beat that out. That was a great putt. Like the read, the stroke, everything was brilliant. I'm really, really pleased for you. You don't sound enthusiastic. Did you enter the twos club? You know it. We'll be on for another round at St Andrews. Right, where's he got it? Oh, 
It's a great roll. I don't think he's giving it enough. Oh, you left me here. Oh, How <sighs> embarrassing. You know the worst thing, Chris, when you see this? Come look at the line on my ball. Does it roll perfect? Yeah. Pointing it in for a three. Two down. <laughs> what snack are we on now, Chris? Squashies. Well, they're, they're not that squashy, to be honest. I think they're a bit cold out here. I mean, they've travelled a long way, these squashies. They came from Belfast, though. It's actually, they're very well-travelled squashies. Via Rotherham, up to St Andrews. Yeah. I've seen it all. Yeah, I'm thinking you just want to be there. A little guider. Come on, boys. Please put your trolleys in the correct place. Oh. Just That's actually safe, very safe. Too safe. In front of the, the next tee box, that. It'll do. It plays. Oh it's, oh, it's similar. It's social. Yeah. Right, Chris, I've got about 70 yards, I'm going to put it. Put it? Well, I would be putting, but I'm in the rough. So I'm going to have to hit the Brett's old... not filled me with confidence with his effort. No, it was a bit of a uh, Damien Duff, one would say. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. Please sit. I mean, it was interesting. I did top it. Yeah, not bad. Could be back to back birdies, not bad. I mean, hello. Come on down. <laughs> like I've got the line as I approach. It's a good roll again. How many? How many are you going to burn that edge? Uh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Oh, oh it's straight over the edge. I'll give you that one, mate. Roll it anyway if you want, but... Two up, and you know what time it is. Bovril time. Right, guys, that is now two down for the series. Uh, I will fight this back. We're going to have four more holes in this video. We're going to try and do nine holes at every course, the more iconic holes. And we now have Bovril as well, thanks. Kurt, you've he found his wallet. Well, my card was blocked, to be honest. The card was blocked, the yeah. He's been trying blocked. to buy, buy too many golf, uh, golf lessons for get good at golf, but... <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. Let's see if I can get back or if Chris can take in a sailing lead into the third leg, of which we don't really know where it is yet. So comment below, where should we play? Safe. That's a good shot. It's not well, troubling the green, but... It's certainly safe. Hmm. Oh, it's a great flight. Good line. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, perfect. Right, a tricky shot. Right, guys, Chris found the bunker off the tee. I've actually found the green, but I've got about a 60 yard putt again. Do love Lynx Golf, but hopefully we might be able to bring this back to one down early doors. I doubt it. I'm gonna lie, Chris, I've not got a clue here. There's a big dip over a ridge, and it's left to right down there, so not easy. Two puts would be exceptional. Two would be, ex three, I'd take three to be honest, I think. Yeah, three would be uh, your tour average. It has got to go. Oh, James. Well. It's halfway there, my friend. It just get, the stroke was that long, it came out the toe. Oh dear. You're here, mate, so. It's my turn. A little bit of left to right. That's a great putt. Straight and up. That's really annoying. What's really annoying? I'm going to see that in. All oh, right. <laughs> this is for birdie. It feels like this is for par. But it's not. There could be three putts from here. Oh, he's 
raced it by its speed. Oh! Get in! That was lucky, wasn't Come it? Come on. Lucky? Well, it was off. It, it might have even reached that green if it didn't hit the old flag. Ooh, and that's back to one in. sunshine, that is. Ooh. Didn't need it anyway. Ooh. Tour average three putty, says Robinson. Just, just, just holding you on just for a bit more entertainment. If I leave myself 30, 40 feet. Very lucky. Keep it up. Right, Chris, 160, 11th yeah. hole. One of my favourite holes here on this golf course. The best par three, definitely. Not an easy um, par three. Although I do appreciate your uh, attendance and your company, Ooh. I played this hole with Tom Watson last time. No, it's gone long, I think. I really enjoyed that as well. What to do? Do you want to do Yeah, do you want to play this one? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in the first place. There we go. There we go. Hello, Chris. Tom Watson here, walking up the 11th hole at the old course of St. Andrews. Just wanted to wish you all the best. I hope that health gets better and get on the golf course soon. You are right. I've lost my, uh, lost my map. It's lucky we're on a mat, but I've lucky lost my other mat. Would have been a good power out of that. It was a good shot out of the bunker, actually. It wasn't bad. It just needed to kick on. Wrong club. I'll let you go, mate, as soon as you, you rush to the tee. Well, you're too busy talking about Tom Watson. We're in a game here. Hello, Chris. Tom Watson here. Level Tom, for the Tom, day. Tom wasn't bothered about playing against you. Right. Just an easy he one in here. Go in that bunker. Go on. Let's sit. That's a great shot. Come down the hill. That's going to be an impossible putt. Go seven. This will be short. Seven, just heart of the green, I think, hopefully. Means bunker, that, Brett. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, and it's drawing towards the bunker. Take the slope. All I'm going to say is that is a good golf shot, knowing how the green slopes. So I'm going to say. You played here with Tom Watson? I have, mate. Right, guys, two pretty good tee shots. Yeah. Mine a little bit better, but still a very difficult downhill putt. I've seen these be, de de bleh, be de greened. Chris. De greened? I don't think today. I mean. The line is so good. Come on. Oh. oh, I honestly thought that was in the entire way. Crown dolls. This is the first chance I've had to go all square since, well, the real chance since North Berwick. Well, with two of the most iconic holes in golf to come. Oh, it's not coming. Oh. It never can. You know what, I read too much into your putt there. Yeah, overthinking, James. I'll give yeah. you that for a three. Right, that's a par. Guys, we are going to finish this episode on two of the most famous holes in golf, the road hole and the 18th hole here at St Andrews. Do not go anywhere. Comment below, am I going to catch Chris up or is he going to extend his lead into the third leg? It's gonna, now it's getting serious. It's going to be over the edge of there, I think. Just, oh, just towards the spire again. Oh no, left of the spire. Left of the spire? Yeah, left of the spire it says. Well, you want up, Chris? I can do what I want, really. I you could can. have tonight. I mean, there's safety. a lot of golf to be played yet in this series. But you can do what you want. It's convincing so far. Send her away then, Chris. The coast is clear, although there's a golden retriever or Labrador running around. It's Radley, it's coming to try and find you. Radley. Freedom! Freedom! Oh, cut. I think that's left. The one drive all day that stays left. Yeah, I think that's left. I think that's left, actually. Unfortunately, I, do you know what I was thinking over that ball was, can I hit this fairway? I mean, that's most tee shots like, but... Oh, what oh, That's on the second. Oh. I mean, it's safe as houses, but it is a terrible drive. Safe. I never saw it down. It's literally just bounding down the towards the second tee. There's some gauze over there, James. 
Right guys, um, two interesting tee shots. I'm all the way over there. I'm basically on the second hole. I'm not too far off. Now Chris is in, this is GUR, so we've come to this uh, kind of drop zone area. Long way in. Long way in. That's a bailout. It's going to be a very, very long chip off putt. It's where Brett told me the flag was. Front right. <laughs> now that's got five all over it, but unfortunately my shot is no easier. No. Than, uh, right guys, 190 yards in, probably the hardest shot of the day. Chris is in a bogey territory, definitely. I've got four iron. I'm going to aim for the 18th green, or tee, should I say. That's going to be with Chris short right. Terrible. Right, Chris. Um, unfortunately, you're What's left here, and I'm left there. I'm uh, I'm struggling. Yeah, James said I was in a bad position, but you can have a look at mine first, and then you'll see that I think James is worse off on this occasion. Yes. Hundred feet. 80. Yeah, I mean this is this is three put at best, I think, isn't it? I think a three put could win me this hole. Oh. Right. There. Run out, run out, run out. That's tremendous. It's not bad, it was a good line, wasn't it? I've got shades of uh, Monarch Beach, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. How many, how many puts was that? Five. Just the five. So, so that... being a putting coach, where would, where would you aim? So here, you've got to, for me, I would aim the, at the right edge of the second slope. And then it's going to go that way. It's going to take a dive, and then it's going to go up and over that one, and then straight. If I can up. leave it around where Brett is, yeah, the longer the better, as long as it's not off the green. Oh. Yeah. Luckily. Luckily. It's well, it's not lucky for you, James, because you are. Yeah, I'm a bunker wizard. I'm a bunker wedge. wizard. That wasn't hard enough, Chris. But it is GUR. The line was good. The pace was terrible. And now he's dropping here to there. Let's see what he can do. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, just took a dive to the left. Good shot. Need it. Yeah. Just on me, yeah. for three, James there for four, a little bit outside right. Not high enough. It's not a bad five, Chris, but this will be a better five if it goes. It's a good roll. All those missed birdie puts on this back nine, I've got this for a bogey. You've got to get one, this is massive. What's the score? Two down it is, Chris. Two down. Double. Two down. On two. Oh. Famous hole in golf. Chris, you won a hole with a bogey. I know. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Put it into the bunker, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. What a bad choice, that. I didn't get that button. Oh. I was on green, mate. Oh, were you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I was stood at the back. I thought you were off. Well, you, we're the using Matt's off the fairways. He wants a wedge off the green, old Brett. <sighs> The chip was actually very good over the bunker and then yeah. missed the putt, so. We're going. Ah! What if I just, if I just catch one? Oh. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Oh. Is that coming towards us? Great <laughs> zone then, that were on green. <laughs> <laughs> good shot. Great shot. Oh, that's a great ball as well. Identical tracers on those. Yeah, there should be. Oh, that's a great ball. Great as shot. Well. Identical tracers on those. Yeah, there should oh. be. So, guys, the final hole of episode two, playing some of the best golf courses in the world using the more budget Tacomo irons. Chris, how have you found it? It's been fantastic. You know, it's just another course I've 
ticked off the hundred list, and it's another victory. You know? uh, well, you're not one yet. I mean, it's as good as I can. No, because if I birdie so. this, I don't think you've got it in you, James. But it's been fantastic. You know. But you know what? Also, Chris, I still haven't made a bogey all day. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. that was a double. I was two under par, two birdies and all pars. That's true. We've made a few birdies out here though. So yeah, we've played some good stuff. Unfortunately, Brett, who's playing with us, is yet to make one. So we're hoping this. Can is we just his have a word time. that Brett's not made it over the road on the last? Uh, and he said it was us that wasn't. <laughs> right, I have 72 yards from here over the Valley of Sin, as they say. You're actually better off being over there because then you're not carrying that valley of sin yeah and these mounds certainly take it out of the I think yours uh, is massive chris up there i think yours must have pitched in the bank i'll give you that oh, little brett's up 92 flag so that's a gap wedge not a 50. Good shot. Chris has got putter out. Putter. Valley of Sin. I mean, I've got a chance there, you know. That's that famous put everyone holds, isn't it? It's a good shot, I'll give you that. Get <gasps> Keep going. Oh, it's up, it's a bit... It's a bit pacey. That's a great... Pardon my shaky hand because I'm freezing, but... Not a bad effort. I'm on the side this, yeah. So our average in three put territory. Come on. What a put. What a put. Pace has been phenomenal, I'll give you that. What a waste of a good drive. I've got that to get back to one down and tie today's game. Oh. In or out? Out. Right, here we go. Isn't this the put that Seve hold? And then he got the, the fist pump? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? Well, no, because honestly, it's about two cups outside right, this. Nice bit of shine from the old golden hour on the R&A building. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? The repairs going on, as you can see. I'll say, even in winter, it's still special, isn't it? It is. February, this. Special when you're one up. Or you're two up for today yeah this to level it up it's high it looks good oh. it so guys unfortunately i have lost even more ground there that is now two down in the series there's a lot of golf left to play what a day it's been guys it played some fantastic stuff really enjoyed it you will never get the old course on a better day but that man is just starting to turn the cogs. Well done, mate. Thank you.